first-person shooters are a classic gaming staple. Whether you've been playing them since the 90s or just started your journey today, there are plenty to choose from, no matter the platform. Here's our list of top 20 offline supporting, single-player first-person and third-person tactical shooters of 2024. First of all, Rage of Fig Mobile Beta offers a pretty unique blend of third-person shooter and first-person gameplay, initially providing a fast-paced and intense shooting experience. With a high rating of 4.7 out of 5, this game is already making waves despite being in beta, the graphics is stunning and the gameplay is fluid, keeping you engaged for hours. That being said, regular updates and new features are expected as it progresses towards full release. It's definitely one to watch. So, at number 2 we have Phantom Blaze. This game actually sets a high bar for realistic first-person shooters on mobiles with a rating of 4.5 and over 100,000 downloads. It delivers an immersive combat experience with stunning visuals and realistic physics. The game offers a variety of missions and weapons, ensuring that the players remain engaged. The large 1GB size is justified by the high-quality graphics and extensive content, perfect for those of you seeking a lifelike shooting experience. Coming in at number 3 we have Devil War. Some of you remember this game from our previous videos and some of you have already beaten it more than once. Now the reason that Devil War is in our list today is because developers released a new patch on this thing and it's now the greatest of all time on any phone you have. There's all kinds of graphical options now entirely offline. It's almost Doom 2016 in quality. In fact, even better at some times. Just the Doom music is missing. 10 out of 10, highly recommend it. So here's the thing, it's not every day that we do get an offline first person shooter. We certainly didn't play Frontline Heroes today. Now, this massive game has been around for months, but it was just a few days ago when developers decided to make it globally offline and even release a final patch for it. Now, the patch came out literally fixed the accuracy. This game is a World War, almost Call of Duty inspired tactical shooter offering really advanced graphics and almost infinite missions. That being said, even though there's already millions of sniping and war simulation games on the Play Store, well, the temptation just doesn't stop these developers to make an even better one. Speaking of which, we got one so good, I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. For a war simulation first-person shooter and a developer's first work, this tank battler slash sniping and first-person RPG shooter is a free game and about 350 megabytes in total, works just fine on touchscreen, no bugs reported just yet. Speaking of free games to try, if you do have played or like the Free Fire series of mobile games, you're gonna be really happy to know that Modern Ops received a new patch that got rid of a ridiculous amount of bugs that it was facing before. <clears throat> you can now play it just fine anywhere and there's way less hackers now in the game. Modern Ops is one hell of a tactical first person shooter, it offers a very very good graphical fidelity for 700 megabytes, way too many weapons to unlock and much much more if you were to pay a little extra. This game's free though and plays both on and offline. <laughs> Moving on to number 7, we have Polygons. I didn't really have time to record this one's gameplay myself, but it's no different than what you're watching over here. This game is an indie developer's first work and probably one of the finest first person shooter mobile games we've had hands for months. It's a Counter Strike style classic but made with low poly graphics, modern characters and setting. Additionally, it's a little inspired by Apex Legends and Valorant, mostly Apex. It plays offline to 10 out of 10. It only takes you down about 200 megabytes in total. Number 8. Sir Zeus Open World Survival is actually a zombie shooter that stands out with its open world gameplay. With a 4.7 rating and over 10,000 downloads, it offers a very compelling survival experience, letting you explore vast environments, scavenge for resources, and fend off hordes of zombies. Now, the 330 megabytes size do make it accessible while still delivering high quality graphics and immersive gameplay. It's a must play for fans of the zombie survival genre. Dark days bring new challenges. 
coming from one of the most successful mobile game developers over here, technically speaking, this team has turned every single game or genre they have touched into gold for seven years straight. Speaking of which, number nine, we have Zombie State. It's a action first person zombie shooter, I mean a zombie survival RPG. It has legit one of the smoothest and top quality graphics in this genre. And the whole thing is just somehow 400 megabytes in total. What you're watching over here is actually in-game footage. Number 10. See, the famous Russian developers Moab came up with another new game which happens to be playable offline too, going by the name Europe Front Remastered. We have actually mentioned Europe War Remastered before. These developers' specialty is actually driving games, as a couple of open world games have made, but Europe Front is a legitimately great first person shooter, just the same. It's actually an improved, re released version of a three year old mobile game that's now on Android and iOS. and it's about one gigabyte in total. Downloaded nearly a million times since just a month ago. Number 11, we've got a freaking frontline mobile game that's coming from the same dope developers of World of Tanks over here going by World War II Frontline 1942. So this is a first person World War themed shooter, absolutely console quality mobile exclusive, takes you about one gigabyte in total and it plays both online and offline. Я знал твоего отца всего один день. И черт побери, до сих пор слышу легенды о спасении зоны. Number 12. If you're fond of the Stalker games, we've mentioned the game before, we've got something like that on mobiles as well, the series of TDZ games. Now, TDZ 4, Heart of Pripyat takes you into a post-apocalyptic world where survival is the only key. You can navigate the dangers of Pripyat in Russia, fight off threats, and gather resources to stay alive. It's a lot like the Metro franchise. This is a survival offline first person shooter, offers a very intense gameplay, it requires about 600 megabytes of space, and it actually does incorporate real life landmark from the Chernobyl area for added authenticity. So this might not make sense until you try the thing yourself. So record over here the game number 13 is actually the mobile equivalent and version of the PC game on record. Now what you're watching over here is legit in-game footage of a body cam style first person shooter. The game was released on PCs just this month. The record over here is sitting on the player store since months ago and it is still rated a 4.5. There's millions of downloads on the game and I've heard people complain that the game is not offline. It does play offline and this is how it looks. Number 14, we have Bullet Force, a tactical shooter that has captured the attention of mobile gamers worldwide recently. With over 10 million downloads, this game offers both online and offline modes, letting you customize your loadout, choose from a variety of weapons, and engage in thrilling battles. Bullet Force does offer some stellar graphics, and the gameplay is smooth too. Regular updates keep the content fresh and exciting too. This is a must play for first person enthusiasts. Okay, let's go! Number 15, we have first person FPS Strike Ops Modern Arena. It's an adventure FPS that offers some fast paced action and strategy gameplay. With over 1 million downloads, this game immerses you in modern combat scenarios where quick reflexes and tactical decisions are key. The graphics are top notch and the controls are super intuitive, making it accessible for both casual and hardcore gamers. It's a solid choice for anyone looking for a thrilling shooting experience. With a 4.5 and over 300,000 downloads in the Play Store, number 16, we have SWAT Shooter Police. This is actually the new work of one of the biggest mobile game developers on the platform, offering a decent amount of stages, missions, and a slew of different guns to maneuver with. Unfortunately, it's a rather short game. Ever since this release, everybody's complaining why the game doesn't get any more content. Hopefully, developers are coming up with more. It's a free game, it's offline, and the whole thing's roughly 300 megabytes in size. Number 17 available globally on both the Google and the Apple Store. If you missed its announcement, Special Forces Group 3 is an editor's choice and ranked as number 2 best free first person shooter game on the Play Store. I can almost guarantee you're gonna like this one if you have legit a tiny bit of interest in CSGO and you just wanna play something offline or even offline. 
Either way, it's a free game rated a 4.5 out of 5, takes you about 1 GB in total, no ads, no pay to win, nothing. Coming in number 18, we have First Galaxy Survival, obviously. It's a survival first-person shooter the size of an open world. Quite interesting to play, you have to make your own shelter, shoot anything at sight, because it's another planet's surface, you don't have to have empathy, and you don't really have to worry about anything either except surviving. See, First Galaxy has actually been around for quite some time, but it is still a very popular game to this very day. Could use more planets though, more weapons, maybe even more ships. At uh, number 19 we have Biozombie of Evil 2. Not a sequel nor a second entry of anything, it's just an indie developer's attempt to bring Counter-Strike and Resident Evil or Biohazard series at the same table. It's a free game offline and offers a good few hours of intense action-packed zombie shooting in a city overrun by walkers. Your primary objective is simple, survive at all costs so you can move into the next city and survive even longer. It's an Android game and takes about 200 megabytes in total. And lastly, at number 20, even though it was a top 18 list, we have a Dead Town, a new work of the super famous developers of Alpha Guns and Jungle Adventures. Now, these folks have actually released over 20 gems with 10 million plus downloads in most of them. Dead Town over here is a first person strategy zombie shooter, just standing on the Play Store only with a literal 4.8 out of 5. So far downloaded over 50,000 times, no ads, no pay to win, the game has a huge pull of enemies and guns, without a doubt it's a solid 9 out of 10. Really hope you enjoyed, thanks for watching, we'll catch up soon, have fun.